Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shanice, also known as SLW Create on my social media platforms. We are gonna jump right into this look since I gave you a little sneak peek last week of how this look was created. So let's get to it. So here I'm continuing building up my new face structure and those eye sockets where I want them. And I'm trying to carve out a little bit of the cheekbone and I'm also covering my nose because I do not want my actual nose to show. And this is what the new face structure looks like when I am done with the base shape. And I will tell you, I am very impatient when it comes to things drying, so I usually whip out this heat tool. This blows out a nice high heat, which helps out dry out this flour liquid latex mix, so it's perfect for what I need. Next, I'm going in with my Model Magic Clay. So I'm just building up my new Minotaur nose. When I work with Model Magic Clay, I use water through the process, so the clay is a little bit more flexible to work with. It's kind of looking like a line right now, but in the end it'll work. So I'm giving a little bit of a goatee right there. Here you see I actually already painted my full face. Next I'm going to take a little bit of dark eyeshadow and shade out the crevices of the brows, the nose, the mouth, and the chin, just to make those heightened parts pop out even more. And I'm also darkening out the eye sockets of where my eyes will be going. Then I'll be going in with more of the Nephro Metallic Powders on the nose and that goatee part. <laughs> I'm using my go-to tin foil. If I'm doing symmetrical horns, I like to work on both my horns at the same time just to make sure that they are the same shape and size. And you can see I'm just going in and smoothing out all the bumpy edges and adding on to make my horns a little bit larger. <laughs> And this is the final outcome. I'm actually going to turn around this way because I want my horns to be pointed forward. I always like a little bit of added detail on my horns, so I'm going in with some hot glue and I'm actually making ridges to make those horns look a little bit more lifelike and to give some more depth. Next I'm laying down liquid latex on my horns. Like I said for my last video, I like to put liquid latex down first because it gives me a nice base to paint on. And I'm making sure I'm getting into all those crevices. <laughs> Like I said before, I am very impatient when it comes to things drying, so I'm whipping out my heat tool once again and I'm drying out these horns. You can see that first horn I did is already turning clear, which means it's already drying and it should be ready to go in a matter of minutes. Next I'm going in with my Mephron Black Water Activated Body Paint and I'm going to paint that all over my horn as a nice base because I will be going in with some more of that Mephron metallic powders over top. 
and I'm going in with both gold and silver to give sort of like a rustic, grungy, kind of metal look. The, the black base really helps the Mephron metallic powders pop. You can really see those ridges shine now that I'm putting this metallic powder over top. So like I said, the little fine details give so much more attitude to your piece. Next I'm taking my foam head with a regular dollar store hairband and I'm going to hot glue my horns onto this headband. Next I'm taking some faux fur that was actually from a old Halloween costume from two years ago and I hot glued it together and this is going to be my little tuft that I'm going to have over top of my head and I'll hide the headband a little bit more. Next going in with the ears, also taking some tin foil, I'm going to mold out the shape. Here I am forming out the shape that's going to be the base that I'm actually going to adhere to my head as well as molding out the inner cavity of the minotaur ear. And going in making the actual ear. I just like using tin foil for ears because it's very lightweight. And it's just a nice, easy, and cheap way to create ears. And that is the ear. And I'm also going in and making the second one. Trying to keep it the same size as the first one that I made. And those are my ears. And here I poked a few holes into my ears and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that a little later. Next, using the same technique as I did with my horns, I'm taking some liquid latex and I'm laying that down all over my ear. Next, I'm taking my Fab Water Activated Body Paints in a gray color and I'm going to I'm going to lay that down on both of my ears, on the inside, the outside, all over. Now a little tidbit of information that I didn't actually film was I went in with some hot glue and I lightly laid out some vein shapes within each of the ear cavity. So what you see me doing now is taking some alcohol based body paints, taking the Lady Cadaver kit and going in to make those veins pop out a little more. I'm taking that red color and lightly putting it on the inside of that. And next I'm going in with some black Mephron body paint and kind of outlining those hot glue gun veins just to make them stand out just a little bit more. So here you can see I'm lining up to where I want to put my earrings 
and I'm just gonna poke a hole. You can use anything, I just used a pen. Here I'm using my Gold Mephron Water Activated Body Paint and laying that out on all my earring pieces and my nose ring. And my last steps are, once I have everything painted, I am putting my earring and nose piece into place. I'm just taking a little bit of hot glue, making sure they stick in there and they don't move. Also putting a little bit of hot glue and hooking that nose ring into my Minotaur nose. And this is the final look. The last thing I wanted to do is separate the bottom jaw from the top half of my Minotaur face just to have a little bit more movement in the jaw come application. With my bald cap in place, it's time to body paint. So I'm going to take that fab body paint in a light gray and base my body out in that color. And going in with my Tarte Cosmetics Energy Nori palette, I'm going to start to contour my neck and my shoulders. I just want to give a little bit of more of a manly muscular look since it is a minotaur. And I want to form out a new neck and chest just to get a little bit more of a tough look. So here you can see I already popped in my Moonstruck teeth and I already blacked out my eyes and my mouthpiece so when I put on my prosthetics that won't show. I already applied my jaw piece with a little bit of Pro Adhesive. When you're working with Pro Adhesive all you need is a little bit and let it dry and once you put it into place it is not going anywhere. All I have to do is add a little bit of bling bling and here is my final look to my Minotaur. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to watch my Minotaur tutorial. All the info and products that I use for this look is down below in the description and if you have any further questions make sure you comment down below. And of course if you haven't already make sure you go over and subscribe. Until next time guys. Peace out.